Welcome to the module on how machine learning works or the machine learning workflow. In this session, we will explore the step-by-step -step process involved in building a machine learning model and how ML algorithms learn from data. By the end of this module, you will have a solid understanding of the different steps involved in the process starting from data collection to inference generation. Let's get started with the machine learning workflow. The first step in this process is data source identification and data collection. We can have different type of data sources and it can be real time streaming data. In terms of real time streaming data source could be IoT sensors. Like if you have temperature sensors, if you have room cameras or if you have security cameras or maybe GPS tracker. Real-time streaming could be social media APIs that is data from platforms like Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. It could be financial market trends that is real-time stock, forex or crypto market feed. Or it could be website click stream data or maybe your network security log or security alerts. On the other hand, we can have some batch processing data sources. Some example could be enterprise data warehouse where we can have structured data from platform like Amazon Redshift. We can have historical transactional data. You may have an e-commerce platform where you have transactional data for more than five years. Or maybe you are absorbing medical or health record from government institute or maybe some public data sources or maybe from EHR systems. Now, once we have identified the data sources, the next step is data collection and storing the raw data. For data storage, you can use a data lake or even you can use Amazon S3 bucket. Now, to collect the real-time streaming data, AWS provides multiple services and here are some options. You can use Kinesis data stream or Amazon Redshift streaming in JSON or maybe you can use Amazon Managed Streaming for Kafka. Whereas to collect the batch data, you can use AWS data pipeline or you can use Kinesis data firehose or even AWS Glue. Now let's assume that we have those data connectors which is used to collect the data and we have the raw data. Now once we have the raw data, the next step is data ETL. Data ETL involves data cleaning, data validation, data formatting, data proofing or data versioning. Maybe you are receiving data in multiple different formats. Some are .txt format, some are JSON format, some are in time stream format. However, you need an uniform format for this machine learning training or even inferencing. If you remember, we talked in our previous lesson, garbage in, it will give garbage out. That is why you have to make sure your data is clean and it is well formatted. Now, once we have completed the data cleaning, we have the clean data and that we have generated from the raw data. Now, you can store that clean data into a different bucket or into a different segment of your data lake. Now, a clean data can be even broken into multiple sets. Like if you remember for machine learning training, we can break the set to training set, which will be roughly 80% of your total data set. Then you can have a validation set, which will be roughly 10% of your total data set and then the test set. If your model is already trained and if you want to generate the inferencing, then you can use the data as input data to the model. Now, the next step is model engineering, where you need to train the model and while training the model, you need to do the model tuning, that is the hyperparameter tuning, maybe change in learning rate maybe change in number of epochs, how many times you want to iterate the data set. And once the model is trained, we call it model engineering. The next step is model evaluation. And in this evaluation process, we evaluate the model with certain criteria, and then we select the model, which is the perfect model for our use case. Once the model is selected, the next step is model packaging and packaging means you can have the code, you can have the configuration and we are packaging for model deployment. And in this case, 
we can have different version of the model. After packaging, now we are performing model deployment, where we will perform the build or integration testing. And then after the deployment, we are going to set monitoring and logging. And this monitoring and logging for continuous monitoring, if the model performance is drifting over time. And based on that, we can create a feedback loop. And the feedback loop, again, it can go to our data ATL process and adjust the data set based on the model performance. So this was on a high level, the machine learning workflow, the steps related to data source identification, raw data collection, then performing data ETL and creating clean data. These are called data pipelines. For model engineering, model evaluation, model packaging, model deployment, these steps called email pipeline. Once you combine monitoring and logging with machine learning pipeline, then it becomes ML ops or machine learning ops. That wraps up this module. I hope this session helped you gain a deeper understanding and brought you one step closer to your learning goals. Thank you very much for watching and learning with us at Cloud Expert Solution. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more update and feel free to drop any question or feedback in the comments. We would love to hear from you. See you in the next module.